here it's our last plant day um, and you know mother nature has not been kind to us here over the last few weeks um, you know we've got a dab of rain that is supposed to be here tomorrow that's what we're banking everything on um, our plots that we got in before the rain last rain hit look great uh, we have two plots that haven't been rained on yet um, and you know they could definitely use mother nature's help but uh, so we've got fertilizer here it's not exactly the fertilizer we wanted we wanted triple 12 but we'll take what you know they had 10 10 10 triple 10 so we'll use that we got our lime uh, we got our field tilled up uh, we're gonna throw the lime or the uh, fertilizer in the spreader here uh, directly and uh, we're gonna get that spread we're gonna retail that in and then the plot will be ready to plant so this spring uh, with all the rain we had you know record flooding in the Midwest uh, mother nature always has a way of writing everything and balancing everything out and you know right now we're uh, everything is just super dry as you can tell by the video you know so we're just we need the rain and we're hoping tomorrow you know it's a chance uh, we're hoping that chance materializes but we're going to get this all in the ground get it going and then we're going to get our uh, whitetail essentials plots finished up for the year and uh, then it'll be time to wait on october Well, we've got our plot tilled, we've spread our fertilizer, and we've got it tilled in under. So, the last two things we're going to work on today, it's getting late in the day. I'm kind of racing time a little bit but the last two things I want to spread lime and after that we're gonna see now we took our planter home don't have our planter here but we're gonna go uh, I'm not necessarily old school but we're gonna go with uh, broadcast we're gonna spread it and then we're gonna drag it similar to what we did on our lucky charm plot in the spring um, I've got some skids here and uh, we're just gonna hook the skids up and do like we did in the spring to cover the seed uh, everything we're planting here in our fall plot just barely wants to be under dirt so um, what am I worried about I'm worried about the no rain uh, lack of rain is you know obviously hurting us uh, the second thing with that is because we're planting everything a quarter inch in the dirt and there's no rain uh, the turkeys will annihilate this seed is my fear so um, we're gonna roll the dice uh, there's there's still kind of forecasting rain for us just a dab of rain and it's so a hit and miss this time of year everybody knows how that is but uh, 
So we're going to get to work. We're going to split our lime, spread our seed, drag our skid, and then uh, today's work's done. So uh, our lime's on, our seed's in the ground, and now we're just kind of left, uh, our seed's on the ground. Let me rephrase that. So uh, we're going to go a little bit unconventional. Uh, you're going to laugh when you see what we're doing, but this is kind of what I've got to work with today. So uh, two skids, just like the Lucky Charms plot we put in the spring. And basically this, we like this because it just covers that seed enough to where we're not setting it too deep with our planter. Our, a lot of times with our planter our depth varies a little bit and even if we're just barely touching uh, even sometimes we're still we're at various depths so it comes in a little bit you know up and down but uh, with this we get good even coverage we uh, get good even depth on our seed and you know why go away with uh, go or go away from what works so it works for us. We're just about out of daylight. Uh, I think we have just enough time to knock this out. So I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna get to work. Josh Bryan here with Heat Seeker Outdoors. Uh, bringing to you today uh, what we're calling a poor man's plot. And we're using pretty minimal equipment. Got a rake, a, a weed eater, and a, a sprayer. So we're really landlocked with this little patch of woods right behind us. Got a drainage ditch all the way around it. Uh, we're to the point where we can't even get small equipment in here to work this. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a little sweat equity in and use some elbow grease and 
and really kind of get a, a food plot in here and uh, show you guys that it can still be done without the big equipment. You know, we was fortunate enough to have a, uh, a fellow firefighter let us come in here and do all this. And uh, I'll let Brian talk about that because he, he did most of the talking there. <laughs> so, uh, two reasons we're calling this our poor man's plot. Number one, we're using uh, the small equipment like Josh talked. But number two, we're kind of poor on land to hunt here around the house. We've got, I'm fortunate enough, I've got a really nice farm I can hunt down south. But it's nice. We're actually only about five minutes from our station that we're stationed at. So we can sneak out of there, sneak right in here. But uh, fortunate enough, like Josh said, that one of our fellow firefighters had this piece of property. And you're only talking about maybe a hundred foot stretch of woods. It's, you can see through it actually right behind us. And uh, it, our goal is to show you that no matter how small the property is, no matter how uh, bleak it may seem, you can still do everything to your power and your ability to make that a huntable, uh, hopefully uh, profitable, killable, <laughs> killable <laughs> plot. So stick with us and we hope you enjoy this uh, second half of the second part of Supreme Green on Heat Seeker Outdoors. Everybody, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Heat Seeker Outdoors and the Field of Dreams. Uh, just to give you a final update, kind of, we're here, we've been waiting on rain, and it just hasn't came. We went uh, almost, I believe, 50 days without rain, and it just so happens, you know, we planted uh, right at the first end of those 50 days. So, the plot we're in today is the plot you saw at the tail end of the episode. Uh, we've got good heavy rain coming today, tomorrow. Actually, it's rained a little bit today already. So we're going to go ahead and spread our seed here, get that done. We've got uh, rain later this week. And then uh, to update you on our Field of Dreams plot down south. Everybody, we're, uh, we're standing here. We're in front of what we call the Field of Dreams. Uh, we had hoped by the end of this episode to have some at least sprouting to show you. And we don't. So... Um, you know, again, we took a gamble this year, planted late. This was kind of a late idea anyway. I think we're still okay. We haven't had rain in over 40 days, but um, I don't know if you can tell by the backdrop, but it's going to be raining here anytime. Uh, so what we've got here is we got some cereal rye. We're going to take and hand spread it across this whole field and our other plots as well. Hoping that we can, uh, at least the places where it's either patchy or not coming in, we can fill those in with that cereal rye and uh, make that work. You know, our plots up here at what we, our pasture area, um, we worked actually 22 straight hours to try to get them in before rain hit, and we just fell short of that. 
Uh, we actually worked all the way through the night in the dark. The Kubota tractors were they just they never missed a beat. But uh, we hope you enjoyed this week. And uh, check back on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you know, we may have a future video to show you some updates on this. But as you can see right now, I've got nothing but dirt to show you. So stick with us here with Heat Seeker Outdoors and good luck this season. Yeah.